Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello everyone, welcome back to this course called Design of Fixing UAV. Today we will discuss some problems which we made based on the lecture, based on the last lecture which sir talked to you. So, so let us start with the problem. So, the data is given cruise speed is 45 meter per second and density at mean sea level is 1.225 kg per meter cube. Cl alpha of the wing is given 5.156 per radian and Cl alpha of the tail also given 3. 38 per radian and alpha at lift equal to 0 is minus 2 degree. We can write some data here. Mean aerodynamic chord is given 1.2 meter. A span of the wing is given 10.5 meter and cm naught of the whole UAV is given 0 0.092 8 as well as same alpha is given of complete UAV is minus 1.012 per radian. Tail efficiency factor 0 0.89 x AC of the wing Zero point three meter and X A C of the tail is given two point nine two five meter. So basically, we are measuring this distance with this reference to wing leading edge. So this X A C is nothing but the distance from wing leading edge and this. XAC tail also from wing leading edge. Tau is given 0 0.5, dou epsilon by dou alpha is given 0 0.375, epsilon naught is given 0 0.75. With this information, it is given then the effect of the fuselage on the stability is negligible and some useful formula also given like C L equal to C L alpha into alpha plus C L delta e into delta E and C M equal to C M naught plus C M alpha of into alpha plus C m delta e into delta e, where delta e is a elevator deflection. So, if suppose that if you want to if you want to consider only stability then this part only there, but if the controls will come then this part will add because when you deflect the elevator then C l will change and this is C m equal to C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha this is when you consider only stability. When you consider the control, then C m delta into delta e will come, where C m delta is a elevator control power and delta is a elevator deflection. So, nomenclature has their usual aerodynamic meaning, v is a speed, rho is a density, the lift curve slope of wing, lift curve slope of tail, angle of attack when lift equal to 0, mean aerodynamic chord, span, pitching moment coefficient at 0, angle of attack, pitch stability derivative of all UAV 
टेल एफिशंसी फैक्टर दिस इज नथिंग बट डायनामिक प्रेशर ऑन द टेल डिवाइडेड बाई डायनामिक प्रेशर ऑन द विंग एक्सेसी लोकेशन ऑफ एरोडानमिक सेंटर ऑफ विंग लोकेशन ऑफ एरोडानमिक सेंटर ऑफ टेल दिस इज डाउन वॉश एंगल जो ऑप्शन नंबर डोल फाइज है यू कैन इफ यू स्पेंड यूजिंग टेलर सीरीज एफ साइ लाइन एफ साइ डाउन वॉश एंगल इक्वल टू डाउन वॉश एंगल जीरो एंगल ऑफ अटैक प्लस डो एफ साइन बाई डो एल्फा इन टू एल्फा एंड सो वी विल सॉल्व फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज फाइंड द लोकेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रल पॉइंट ऑफ द एबो फिक्स विंग फ्रॉम द विंग लीडिंग एज सो इन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट सी द इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन यूजिंग दिस इंफॉर्मेशन यू कैन फाइंड तो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू थिंक दैट कि इन विच इक्वेशन द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट विल कम सो इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट वेन यू राइट सी एम एल्फा ऑफ द होल होल एयरक्राफ्ट और होल यू ए वी इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू सी एम एल्फा ऑफ द विंग प्लस सी एम एल्फा ऑफ द फ्यूसलाज प्लस थर्ड पार्ट इज सी एम एल्फा ऑफ टेल बट इट इज ऑलरेडी गिवेन दैट सी एम एल्फा ऑफ द विंग सी एम एल्फा ऑफ द फ्यूसलाज इज जीरो बिकॉज इट इज इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिविंग द निगलेक्ट द इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्यूसलाज ऑन ए स्टेबिलिटी तो दिस विल बी द जीरो एंड वॉट इज सी एम एल्फा ऑफ द विंग इट इज नथिंग बट सी एल एल्फा एक्स सी जी बाई सी माइनस एक्स ए सी बाई सी सी मीन एंड दिस इज सी एम एल्फा ऑफ टेल इज नथिंग बट माइनस ईटा एस टी बाई एस एक्स ए सी ऑफ टेल माइनस एक्स सी जी डिवाइडेड बाई सी बार इन टू वन माइनस डो एफ साइल एन बाई डो एल्फा दिस इज अ कंप्लीट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ सी एम एल्फा सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट सो एट न्यूट्रल पॉइंट Your CM alpha will become zero. CM alpha will be the zero, and X e X C G will reach at neutral point. So put put CM alpha equal to zero and X C G equal to X N P in this equation. Let's make equation one. So what you will get? Zero equal to C L into एक्स एन पी बाई सी माइनस एक्स सी जी बाई सी माइनस ईटा एस टी बाई एस एक्स एस सी ऑफ टेल माइनस एक्स सी जी एक्स सी जी बिकम एक्स एन पी राइट एंड वन माइनस डो एफ साइल एन बाई डो एल्फा so if you rearrange this equation then what you will get x neutral point will be x ac plus eta st by s x ac of tail into cl alpha of the tail cl alpha of the wing 1 minus do f sin by do alpha divided by 1 plus eta st by s cl alpha of the tail cl alpha of the wing into 1 minus do f sin by do alpha right you will get this expression so if you put all this value what you will get so just put each and every value from the data which is given so your x ac is nothing but x np equal to x ac is given 
जीरो पॉइंट थ्री योर एक्सेस इज गिवन जीरो पॉइंट थ्री प्लस ईटा इज गिवन जीरो पॉइंट एट नाइन and it is also given in the question that the tail area is 1 by 4th of wing area so your st by s will be the 4 so 1 by 4 your tail area is 1/4th of wing area so st by s you can put 1 by 4 next x ac of the tail x ac of the tail is given 2. 925 and cl alpha of the tail is given 3.38 cl alpha of the wing is given 5.156 and 1 minus do alpha len by do alpha is given 0.375 okay divided by 1 plus Same thing except CLT zero point eight nine into one by four into three point three eight divided by five point one five six into one minus zero point three seven five. So when you solve this, you will get X and P is nothing but zero point five one nine three. meter so this will be the answer of that question so in second question you have to find the total lift curve slope of the uav in paradian so to solve the second question we will solve here so total lift curve slope of the cl alpha of the whole uav is nothing but cl alpha of the wing plus eta st by s cl alpha of the tail 1 minus do epsilon by do alpha so already given to you the derivation of this cl alpha of the complete aircraft equal to c how you will get the cl alpha of the complete aircraft using cl alpha of the wing and cl alpha of the tail if you drive if you use the first first principle that means lift equal to in this case that means lift total lift of the aircraft will be the total lift of the wing plus total lift of the tail so if you use the relation lift total lift of the uav equal to lift of the wing plus lift of the tail you will get this so cl alpha of the wing is given 5.156 plus eta is given 0.89 and st by s is given 1.4 cl alpha is given 3.38 into 1 minus 0.375 which is do epsilon by do alpha so here you will get 5.626 per radian this is nothing but cl alpha of the complete uav so you can see that ki earlier your cl alpha of the wing was so, okay earlier the lift curve slope was 5.156 when suppose that there was no tail but you if you add the tail then total lift of the total lift curve slope of the of uav will increase so here is 5.156 here is 5.626 but radian so in the third question you have to find the starting margin so you know that starting margin is the distance between neutral point and xcg with respect to the mean aerodynamic chord so static margin is nothing but minus do cm by do cl and also write a static margin in terms of cm and cl so this expression you can manipulate this equation like do cm by do alpha divided by do cl by do alpha this you can further write cm alpha and cl alpha right so cm alpha it is given 
इन द क्वेश्चन माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो वन टू वन सेवन राइट एंड सी एल एल्फा यू हैव फाउंड आउट फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स टू सिक्स पर रेडियन दिस इज ऑल्सो पर रेडियन दिस इज ऑल्सो पर रेडियन सो योर आंसर विल कम जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन नाइन नाइन स्टेटिक मार्जिन विच इज ऑल्सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन न्यूट्रल पॉइंट एंड एक सी जी रिस्पेक्ट टू द मीन इंडोनिमिक कार्ड ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ थर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू इन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड द लोकेशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी सो इन दिस केस यू नो दैट कि ओके यू हैव फाउंड आउट द पोजिशन ऑफ न्यूट्रल पॉइंट यू हैव स्टेटिंग मार्जिन ऑल्सो यूज दिस रिलेशन यू विल फाइंड द एक्स सी जी सो इफ यू यूज दिस वॉट विल बी दूर एक्स सी जी एक्स सी जी इज नथिंग बट एक्स सी जी बार इज नथिंग बट एक्स न्यूट्रल पॉइंट बार माइनस दिस जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन नाइन नाइन स्टेटिंग मार्जिन दिस यू कैन राइट एक्स सी जी बाई सी एंड मल्टीप्लाई सी इन दिस साइड वॉट यू विल गेट यू कैन राइट एक्स न्यूट्रल पॉइंट बाई सी सो सी सी विल कैंसिल सो एक्स न्यूट्रल पॉइंट ओनली विल बी देयर एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन नाइन नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सी बार राइट सो दिस न्यूट्रल पॉइंट यू ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट हाउ मच इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन नाइन थ्री न्यूट्रल पॉइंट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन नाइन नाइन इन टू सी बार इज वन पॉइंट टू राइट सो योर आंसर विल कम जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री फोर दिस इज अ पोजिशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ यूएवी फ्रॉम द विंग लीडिंग एज दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ योर फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन सो इन सिक्स क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड द ओके दिस दिस इज इन मीटर सो इन सिक्स क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड द टेल वैल्यूम रेशियो सो बेसिकली टेल वैल्यूम वैल्यूम रेशियो टेल अस द हाउ मच स्टेबिलिटी यूएवी और एयरक्राफ्ट हैज सी टेल वैल्यूम रेशियो टेल वैल्यूम रेशियो इन दिस केस हॉरिजेंटल टेल वैल्यूम रेशियो इज एस टी बाई एस सी बार एंड टेल आर्म विच इज नथिंग बट एक्स ए सी ऑफ टेल माइनेट माइनस एक्स सी जी सो एस टी बाई एस इज गिवेन वन बाई फोर एंड एक्स ए सी ऑफ द टेल इज टू पॉइंट नाइन टू फाइव राइट एंड एक्स सी जी इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री फोर डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट टू सी बार ओके सो वॉट यू विल गेट यू विल गेट अप्रॉक्सिमेटली जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर सिक्स वन सिक्स टू फाइव दिस इज नथिंग बट यूर टेल वैल्यूम रेशियो हॉरिजेंटल टेल वैल्यूम रेशियो सो इन सिक्स क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फाइंड द टेल सेटिंग एंगल कि हाउ मच टेल सेटिंग इज टेल सेटिंग एंगल इज रिक्वायर्ड इन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द डिजायर्ड सी एम सी एम नॉट वैल्यू सो लेट सॉल्व दिस ऑल्सो सो यू नो दैट सी थिंक अबाउट दैट कि ओके इन विच इक्वेशन द आई टी इज कमिंग टेल सेटिंग एंगल सो इट इज ऑब्वियसली सी एम नॉट so cm not is anything but cm not of the wing plus cm not of the tail okay so cm not further you can write cm not of the wing cl not of the cm not you can further write cm not cl not into xcg by c minus xac by c and 
what is the cm not of the tail it is eta st by s into xac of tail minus xcg divided by c into cl alpha of the tail i w minus epsilon i w plus epsilon or minus i t. So, this is nothing but your C m naught of the whole UAV or aircraft, but in this question it is given that C m naught of the UAV which is 0 0.0928. What is C L naught? C L naught you can find using this relation. C L equal to C L alpha of the wing alpha minus alpha lift equal to 0. So, if you put alpha equal to 0, what is your C L alpha? C L alpha of the wing is nothing but 5.156, it is per radian, and what is alpha lift equal to 0 it is minus 2 degree. So, minus minus will become plus 2 degree you convert this into degree you will get approximately 0 0.1799. So, this is in per radian now this is in degree that is why we have converted this into per radian. So, per radian and radian will cancel. So, your answer will be 0 0.1799 C L naught if you are putting alpha equal to 0 you have to put naught here. So, you can put this value here. 0.1799 xcg you already found out right how much is 0 0.3034 divided by c bar 1.2 minus xac is nothing but 0 0.3 divided by c bar 1.2 plus 0 0.89 okay this thing st by s xac minus x a c tail minus x a g by c you can write tail volume ratio right it is we already defined. So, tail volume ratio is nothing but which we got it is how much 0 0.5461 just take 5 digit 4 digit c l alpha of the tail is 3.38 be careful that it is per radian. So, it is you can convert this into per degree then it will be easy because here you are you will put in degree all this number. So, wing incidence angle is 0 and what is epsilon naught it is given 0 0.75 right 0 0.75 degree minus i t. Here be careful that C L alpha C L alpha of the tail is in per radian and epsilon naught and i t is in degree you are you want to the answer in degree. So, you have to convert these things per radian into per degree that is why we multiply this. So, if you solve this you will get i t approximately tail setting angle is nothing but 2.468 degree just you have to solve this we have put it all the numbers just rearrange this. So, in seventh question with this given information what will be the total lift coefficient at 0 degree angle of attack means you have to find the C L naught of the of the complete U A V. See C L naught of the wing we have already found out 0 0.1799. So, when you add the tail then how much C L naught the tail will produce you just have to find out and this add this thing you will add this two you will get the answer. So, let us find this also. So, C L naught of the complete U A V equal to C L naught of the wing plus C L naught of the tail you can say. So, what will be the C L naught of the wing you have calculated? Let us put first formula and then we will 
further proceed right and c l naught of the tail is nothing but eta s t by s c l alpha of the tail i t minus epsilon naught. So, this is nothing but we have calculated that what is the C L naught which is coming. So, C L naught is nothing but we have found out 0 0.1799 right plus eta is 0 0.89 into S T by S is 1.4 C L alpha is 3.38 which is in per radian. So, convert into per degree because here you will put the i t and epsilon not in degree. So, minus 2.4 something you got na 2.68 minus 0 0.75. So, if you solve this you will get C L naught of the complete V is 0 0.13351. So, you can make the observation that okay, when you add the tail then C L alpha of the complete U A V will be more than the C L alpha of the wing alone, but C L naught of the complete U A V is less than the C L naught of the wing alone. So, in eighth question you have to find the trim lift coefficient of the whole aircraft. So, this is very straight forward when you are flying at trim condition means your forces and moments are balanced. So, that means you can write thrust equal to drag and lift equal to weight. So, we want C L. So, we will use lift equal to weight because in that expression the C L will come. So, use this relation half rho V square S into C L. So, rearrange this C L equal to 2 W divided by rho V square S. So, put this value 2 into the weight is given the weight is given 850. So, please uh, note down that 850 kg is the total weight because at the beginning of this lecture I think we missed this weight. So, please note down this to so, weight will be the 850 kg and rho mean sea level 1.2256, 1.225 take 3 digit, V speed is given already 45, this is V square 45 square and area of the wing is nothing but this is also given that the you have to take the rectangular shape of the wing. So, a, your area will be nothing but B into C bar. So, B is given how much it is 10.5 and C bar is given 1.2. So, area your area will come around 12.6. Let me check. Yes, 12.6. So, 12.6. So, if you solve this, you will get 0 0.533 is your C L value. Okay. this is the eighth question. So, in ninth question and tenth question you have to find the trim angle of attack of the aircraft and to trim this aircraft at this at that particular angle, angle of attack which we will find in next question how much the elevator deflection is required in order to trim the aircraft. So, we will solve this See whenever you deflect the elevator the aircraft response air, aircraft will response. If the elevator go up the nose part will go up, if the elevator go, will go down then the nose part will go down. So, basically you are controlling the plane in longitudinal motion using elevator. So, basically when you use the elevator na, means you are controlling the ang angle of attack, you are trimming the angle of attack at different different angle of attack with different different velocity. So, this is the significance of this question. So, let us solve this question. So, you know that 
Okay. If you observe this equation, C L equal to C L alpha into alpha plus C L delta into delta E. This C L alpha is a nothing but complete C L alpha of the air vehicle, which we have already found. This is a angle of attack. This is a when you change the angle of attack, when you change the elevator angle, how much C L will change? So, this stability will tell, this stability derivative will tell and this is the elevator deflection. In this moment equation, C m equal to C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha, this C m alpha is a nothing but C m alpha of the whole air vehicle, this C m naught is the C m naught of the whole air vehicle and plus this C m delta is depend upon the okay, how much aircraft will respond like in terms of moment when you deflect the elevator, this C m delta is nothing but elevator control power. So, when whenever you are trimming means you are balancing the moment means net moment will be the 0. So, the C m naught will be the 0. So, use this equation 1 and 2 this make 1 and this 2 you will get the answer of 9th and 10th question. In if suppose the aircraft is trim, so then equation 1 become C l trim equal to C l alpha of the whole air vehicle or the air vehicle into alpha trim plus C m delta E into delta E trim right and your second equation become C aircraft is in trim condition to net moment will be the 0 means C m will be the 0 the 0 equal to C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha trim plus C m delta E into delta E trim. So, you can make equation 2 1 and 2 you have already made that. So, let us make 3 and 4. Okay. So, see this equation and you just figure out that ki, okay, how much unknown we required, which how which variable we don't know. See, C L trim you know, you already found out 0 0.533, C L alpha you know, C M alpha you know, C M naught you know, alpha trim and delta e trim you have to find. Two things you don't know C M delta E, C L delta E and C M delta E. So, let us find the C m delta e elevator control power and this C l delta e using this equation. So, your C l delta is nothing but tau eta S t by S into C l alpha of the tail. So, tau is nothing but 0 0.4, S t by S is nothing but 1.4, C l alpha of tail is nothing but 3.38 per radian. So, your C L delta E will come approximately 0 0.30082. Similarly, you can find C M delta E elevator control power it is minus eta V h, V h you can add S t by S into tail arm divided by C bar. So, minus eta V h C l alpha of the tail into you can multiply by tau. So, you will get the answer 0.89 into what is your V h 0 0.5461 I think your eta V s C l alpha tail is 3.38 per radian into tau. Okay. 
so your answer will come minus 0 0.65 7 2 3 1 per radian. So, you know C L delta I, you know C M delta I. So, you have two equation, two unknown, you can solve easily. But if you write equation 3 and 4 in matrix form, then it will be, be very easy to solve this. <coughs> so, let us write equation 3 and 4 in matrix form. So, when you write in matrix form you, for equation 3 and 4, what you will get C m alpha, C m delta E, C l alpha, C l delta E. Let us see one matrix multiply by the unknown column matrix alpha trim delta E trim equal to if you put C m naught in that side this will become minus C m naught and C l trim in three equation that is a C L trim will come here. So, if you multiply by this and this compare with this you will get equation 4. If you multiply this, this row to this column equated to this you will get the equation 3. So, basically you can say that okay, this is matrix A and this is matrix X unknown and this is matrix B. So, you want x right, so x will be A inverse B, this will be the your solution. So, in this equation you already know C m alpha, C m delta E which we found just before, C l alpha you know C l delta E we found just before, alpha, alpha trim, delta E trim we want, C m naught we know, C l trim we know. So, put all the value in this matrix, take the A inverse, multiply by the B matrix, you will get the answer. So, inverse easily you can take using this, suppose that you have two element, four element A1, A2, A3, A4 and you want to take this layer A and if you want to take the inverse, in this case you have to take the inverse of this right. So, this is inverse is nothing but this, this divided by determinant A, okay. change this A4, interchange this two and put minus sign here, minus A3, minus A4, you will get the A inverse. So, these things you can change, put here this, this two interchange put this things with minus sign, take the determinant divided by determinant, you will get the A inverse. This will be the very easy to solve. Okay. So, A inverse is nothing but adjoint of A divided by determinant of A, which we have written there. So, what will be the your A inverse will come? So, your x, x is nothing but alpha trim and delta E trim is equal to A inverse, right. A inverse which will come 0 0.0887 minus 1.6581. 0 0.1937 minus 0 0.2983 0 0.0928 0 0.533 see this thing we are calculating in the radian because you have if you put 
you are putting this cm alpha cm delta e cl alpha cl delta e is pan radian and we want the answer in degree so you can multiply by 1 pi, 180 by pi so what you will get alpha trim trim angle of attack is nothing but 5.5 Four four three eight degree, and your this is your answer of ninth question, and delta E trim will be minus zero point two nine three seven degree. This is your delta E trim. the minus sign indicate that ki you are deflecting the elevator in upward direction in order to trim the aircraft at 5.4438 degree so this is the answer of 10th question